Um, you recently announced that you will not be running for re-election in 2024. And, and so I'm kind of curious if you could maybe take a few moments to reflect on your term in the Senate and what it has shown you about how democracy is being practiced here in Washington right now. Well, I, I think it's pretty clear that, that we're more divided as a nation than we've been in a long, long time. Uh, obviously, we were most divided during the Civil War. But we're highly divided now. And I think the, the reason for that is that our, our media has moved from a setting where, where there were editors and fact checkers uh, and where if you're a crackpot with a crazy theory of some kind, you're probably not going to get it published in, in any kind of a way that's going to get picked up by the public at large. Uh, because, you know, 20 years ago, people read newspapers and magazines and, and looked at the evening news. Those things were all carefully vetted uh, in, in most respects uh, by editors, fact checkers and so forth. That's gone. You guys are getting your news, certainly as I do now, by uh, going on, on, on my device. Uh, that's curated for me. Uh, and I'm seeing stories, many cases I agree with, some I don't agree with. But uh, oftentimes what I'm seeing in social media, there are no fact checkers, there are no editors. And if I have a really crazy crackpot theory, just absolutely, completely wild out there, I can put it out there and get millions of hits. I can get a lot of people seeing it. Well, that was not possible. And, and the people who are influencers, if you will, and have the biggest following are people who are angry and are pointing out the, the foibles on the other side. And uh, interestingly, we're drawn to those things as human beings. And, and so politicians have begun to reflect that, hey, if you want to get support, you want to get money for your campaign, your next campaign, the more outrageous thing you say, the more likely it is that you're going to have people following you. And so you have people increasingly coming to Washington whose objective in staying in office is to make noise, not to make law, not to change things in a way that, that might be better for the country, but just to, to make a lot of noise and to show they're angry and fighting. I mean, right now, Jim Jordan, for instance, you've heard is running for Speaker of the House. Um, my former chief of staff sent me a message today and said, you know, it's interesting. Here's a guy who wants to be the Speaker of the House. Do you know how many bills he's passed that he's, that he's authored? None. And how many bills that he's, he's just been a sponsor on? By the way, you get to sign up to be a sponsor of a bill, all right? And so, you know, I'm on lots and lots of bills that I didn't write, but I'm a sponsor. None of the bills he sponsored has ever become law. So we're looking at electing a person who would be second in line to the presidency who's never passed a bill. But he's certainly well known because he's able to make a lot of noise. And uh, that's the currency of the realm these days in politics, is finding a way to stand out and to be well known. And if, if I were to ask you the names of Congress people that you'd know, they'd almost all be people who don't actually do anything or pass any law, but they are very outspoken. And how does a democracy work? One, when the population is getting information that may or may not be accurate, and two, when the people that are most well known are those that aren't accomplishing things, but instead are, are performing. And so politics itself has become more of a performance art. I mean, President Trump, for instance, I mean, what is he good at? Uh, his background was performing. He was on TV. He was a WWF owner and, and uh, would go out there with the wrestlers and so forth. I mean, that's what he did. And that's what has given him the prominence that he's received. So, yeah, it's a very different environment than might have existed in the earlier days of our democracy. And it's kind of hard to understand where we're going to head, where we're going to go in that kind of setting. By the way, the Senate, uh, in part because we get elected over an entire state instead of a small district, we tend to be a little more bipartisan and a little more oriented towards getting things done, I believe, than, than the House. Um, and certainly the president uh, typically is going to be more concerned about larger issues. But... Uh, but our, our, the democratic process is very much uh, in, uh, in flux as a result of that changing dynamic. 